So today, I am, uh, I actually bought the parts yesterday. I bought a brake caliper and a master cylinder off a Yamaha R1 motorcycle. Uh, so that hopefully will stop this thing. Bees are insane. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I went to TSC and I uh, got some steel and stuff and we're gonna build some mounts. I uh, had my buddy working with me yesterday. So anyways, uh, here's the caliper. Brembo brake pad or Brendo Brembo brakes uh, off the motorcycle. So top of the line, couldn't get any better than that. Uh, where's the master cylinder here? Well, it's somewhere. I don't know. Brembo master cylinder, standard thing. Anyways, right now I'm working on a jig. They're not a jig, a mount. For the brake caliper. So I'm just welding this together. And, uh, hopefully this works. I don't know, this is the first, like, fabrication job I've done besides this. My teacher helped me do that. Anyways, so I'm gonna do that. Brake caliper is gonna go here. Master cylinder is gonna go here on some posts with, like, a lever arm to, for the brake pedal. Pretty sweet. And then I'm gonna mount, no, <clears throat> mount the gas tank. Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold. Mount the gas tank there. And then the seat's gonna go there as the picture showed. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you in a second. All right, so I've just finished the brake caliper mount. Just fabricated that. It's right here. Piece of one and a half inch tubing. Goes to some one eighth inch bar. Goes down, goes across. Then there's one coming up and one coming up for the actual bolt holes. And then there's one at an angle there. If you can see it, it's kind of like, like that. Uh, just some extra support going to the chain case there. So yeah, I had to cut a hole in the back here. Uh, to gain access to the back weld there. Focus. Never mind. Yeah, just to weld the back. I can't weld the bottom because it's like impossible to get to, but hopefully three welds is good enough. My famous last words. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. Uh, next, actually the brake caliper is over there. So I can all bolt it up and everything. And then I'm going to get um, master cylinder in that chain case. I've changed the design a bit. There's gonna be a bar going across, a pivot bar going vertical like that to change the direction because the pedal pushes the rod that way and I need the rod to go that way. So that changes the direction and that will press the cylinder. So yeah, then I'll mount the seat and then uh, test drive. So just finishing up the night here. Um, so what have I done since last? Um, that's all done. Mounted the I ended up drilling a hole, two holes, straight through the side of the chain case there. The one bolt is four inches long, so it goes all the way to the other side. And then the other bolt is only a little bit because I couldn't actually drill on this side. The drill wouldn't fit in this area. It's too big. So I just had to have that little screw or that little bolt and the big one it holds it fine like it's it's not going anywhere and then so starting at the front we got the pedal here and that pedal pushes this arm forward that arm pulls that forward which is on a pivot which pivots that forward and the whole thing moves Like that. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in there. So you can actually see it. Works surprisingly well. And I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. It didn't, it's not the most, like, perfect thing in the world. But it gets the job done, and it's strong. 
I just have to, all I have to do is mount all of them permanently so they're like kind of just like temporarily just stuck in the sides. They're not bolted or anything. And um, I have to tighten everything down, put washers in, the spacers. I have a whole bunch of washers that go in here to space that out so it doesn't slide around. Or... Yeah, and then uh, somehow I have to find a way to hold this up because this bar is very heavy. And this goes down, up, left, it's not supposed to. It's supposed to just push straight in. So, I have, a find, I have to find a way to take all the weight off the bar. If that means drilling a bolt right underneath it and just having it setting on, setting on one of these bolts here, I think that's going to be the easiest, but uh, we'll see. Who knows? We'll figure it out. So after I get all the hardware and stuff and I got get it all bolted up, uh, I gotta bleed the line and then the brakes are all good to go and I don't have to worry about them. Um, next I have to attach the gas line, or the uh, throttle to the carb. Somehow that's gonna be like a little bit easier because all it is is right here. It's already kinda there but I just kinda fiddle with it and put it on the carb. And then I mount the seat and then we're good to go. So it's almost done. Oh yeah, I gotta mount the gas tank too. Gas tank and oil tank. I'm gonna put the gas tank in that area. And oil tank is gonna go in this area. And then somehow the exhaust and it never ends. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.